Today begins our 2024 annual giving appeal, cultivate a spirit of belonging. As a gardener, I'm always looking for ways to improve the productivity or the beauty of my garden. It might be weeding, clearing away old branches, or maybe planting something new that better fits the light requirements in a certain area. And a lot of that work does happen in the fall as I bring in bulbs that might need protection over the winter, or perhaps plant something that needs a jump start on the next growing season. It's the same in the church. Even as the old season ends, a new season is beginning. And for those of us in the church, it is time to look ahead to a new growing season and think about the ways that we can best nurture the new ministries in life that we are being called to participate in. It might be stopping some programs or starting something new that can better help us live into the mission in the future. And whatever it, ministries we decide to do, it will help us to nurture that sense of welcome and belonging that have been so important at First English for so long. That sense of belonging doesn't just include First English, though it, it expands out into our community. And this year we would like to help other nonprofits in the community that are increasing that sense of belonging, whether it's Zion Lutheran Church working on homelessness and affordable housing issues, or Trinity Lutheran Church sponsoring hope and help together to provide a sense of belonging and welcome for newcomers to the, to the Fox Cities, refugees and others who come from other cultures. I'm so glad that we can get beyond the spirit of competitiveness and realize that together we can do wonderful things for mission and ministry, the mission and ministry of spreading God's love into the world. In the coming weeks, you we will be sharing other ways that we at First English are going to try to foster or cultivate a spirit of belonging, all in preparation for October 22nd, which is our Commitment Sunday. And we ask you to prayerfully consider and to be generous as you consider how you might support these initiatives, whether through prayer, whether through service in time whether through monetary gifts. And together, we can live into our ongoing mission to fearlessly join God in loving the world.